Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. Welcome to this edition of Truck Life. I love having one of these trucks, and if you have this kind of model too with an extended cab on it, you love it too. But the problem is trying to haul stuff sometimes, and how do you do that without spending a lot of time tying it in and making it safe? I found a great product and approach out there I think you're gonna like. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, if you're like me, you love having a great looking truck. I like these short beds because they keep the proportion of the truck looking stylish. But when it comes time to load longer stock uh, or carry a kayak or those types of things, pipes, sometimes it's hard to make this really work well. And you only have a couple of approaches you can take, but one of the limitations are is that the bed of these kind of trucks, if I measure that out, is only about five and a half foot long. Well, you're, even a standard piece of plywood's not gonna fit in there without hanging over the back. And if you get stock like this, here I have a couple of two by sixes that are 12 foot long. Well, you add a couple more feet if you wanna put in a, a 14 footer. And if you add a 16 footer, you're all the way out here. Well, look at the amount of hangover that's happening at that point. You only have a couple approaches that you can do to try to stabilize that truck load. And that is either to put something at the front of the load to press down on the front to reduce the fulcrum action that happens. It gets worse and worse with more load out the back. Or you can do something to lift this up and to keep it forward in the bed and to lift a little bit forward pressure to counteract both the downward force of the load and also the backward force as you accelerate. Well, you can throw a ratchet strap across the top here, but it's not gonna do a lot of work in that it'll put some downward force and if you wrap it around, it'll stop it from coming back, but that doesn't help this too much unless you're way down the front. I try to do everything I can do out here. So number one, it's accessible and number two, it keeps everything forward in the bed. Well, there is some really cool uh, innovation that has happened by a company called Load. And Load is spelled unusual, L-O-A-D-D, -D, and they make this great product called the Sheet. And he always uses double consonants on the end, kind of cool. So it's a Load company, and the Sheet is spelled S-H-E-T-T. And what this product does is it hooks at the bottom of the bed, loops around the back and hooks back and is cinched in, keeping the load forward. It's made out of material that's easy to keep maintained. It isn't boutique-y. You can wash it up when the load's all done because when you're out and about, you're gonna get mud or dirt, dust on it. And then when you're all done, you can put it back in its container like this and stow it and then it's ready for you to use the next time. Well, let's take a look at the product itself and let you see how it's constructed and how it's put to use. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the product itself. As you can see, it's constructed of a really nice material, heavy duty straps, it says right in the corner there, made in the USA. And I wanna give a call out to the entrepreneur behind this. His name is John Nogai out of the heartland of the United States. Young entrepreneur, only about 25 years of age, has created this company called The Load Company, and this is their premier product, which comes in different sizes depending on how much bed extension. This is really a bed extender device. And looking at it right here, it's pretty intuitive. Here, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the non cinching of the straps here, we're gonna hook it up into the bed, we're gonna put this under the end of the load, and then we're gonna take these other straps over here, connect it back, and then cinch it in. We'll finalize the action by wrapping this around the load and cinching it in, and then putting on the included uh, flag, safety flag, that's always required in these types of loads. If you're running after dark, a good little flashing LED light, red light, that sort of thing, it's not only good courtesy, it's smart, and in some areas, it's the law, so be very aware. Okay, let's go ahead and make use of the product here. What we're gonna do is hook these stationary straps, and what I mean by that, they don't have any adjusters, it's just this fixed attachment point. 
And notice how heavy these dudes are. Man, these are great hooks that are on this. I really like it. Powder coated, this is a premier product, you can tell. We're gonna go ahead and I like to start with the, the um, pouch that we're gonna form pretty close. So we're gonna go ahead and move this up like this. Go ahead and hook one side to your first attachment point. Hook the other side to the second attachment point. We've got a good start. Now we're gonna just take this, pull back on it slightly till we hit about center, fold over, take this back. And now you're gonna go ahead and attach that second attachment point and pull back on your strap after you open the keeper. Latch down the strap again and repeat. Back to that. Open the keeper again, right here. When you do, that allows you to pull till you're cinched. Then go ahead and close the keeper and it tightens just slightly more when you do that. So now you've got these here and I just stow them like this. So they're not flapping around. We do the same on the other side. Now, to cinch around this, you now have this strap right here. I'm just gonna cross them around like this. And you can cross again and again until you're to a place where you can put it together. Well, now you've got all of this forward. It can't come back. It can only go a little bit side to side. And if I really wanted to sit it down tight, I could get it stationary. Or you could throw another strap over. And if you want to know how to use a ratchet strap correctly, check it out in the end panel at the end of the video. Now, let's go ahead and throw on the flag. And notice load has engineered this very nicely. Here's these little attachment points here. There you go. You have a very bright flag that's on the back. This is absolutely secure. There's no place it's gonna come out. You've effectively extended the bed of your truck. This is a 12 footer. You can come out to two more foot. And I would say eight foot out this far is about as far as you wanna go. Uh, just simply for safety and for visibility and knowing where the load is. Well, I think this is a great product. I think it's a great approach of keeping the load supported and forward and secure. And all the straps are really heavy duty. You can check out their website below. You can just visit load, triple W dot load, L O A D D dot co. And if you're watching this within the first 45 days of airing of this episode, go below in the description and pick up the promo code there. We'll get you 5% off of your order. And everything that you order over $99 is shipped free. We think you're gonna like the product. Tell them that we sent you. And just one more disclosure. We don't get paid a dime for doing these kind of things. We just like to get the good word out on some great products. And we think this is a good one. Check them out. If you have a product you would like to have mentioned or you know of one that you'd like to refer us to, why don't you tell about it in the comments below and we'll respond to you. And if you found this video to be helpful, why don't you like it? And better yet, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so that you'll know instantly when a new video comes out approximately every Friday. Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.